Hello, welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is Road to Glory, and we are into the quarter final of the Classic World Cup playing as Classic Republic of Ireland. Now, our next opponents are Classic Uruguay, which we actually played and beat in our very first group game. So, we're playing them there after beating Classic Germany. I think it was 3 0 or 3 1 the last game, and we're obviously after beating Ghana 3 0. So, we're up against. Classic Uruguay now, so that also includes the likes of Suarez and Cavani and so on, Forlan and these types of players. So we're going to see how we get on. We're going to go and we're going to pick our best team now. So here we go. Oh yeah, I'm going to turn over to the screen and pick the team. So only one difference, or one um point between them in, in the difference. Uh, we're going to go wear the white jersey this time, the classic. A timeless classic. Right, here we go. Classic Ireland against Classic Uruguay. Roy Keane and Luis Suarez, the captains, leading their teams out. Here we go with the kickoff. Big game now. Give that to Stevie Carr. What a player. A lot of their players, um, I don't really know, other than Suarez, Casares. I think they've got Rakoba on the bench as well. I'm sure they've got um, Cavani there. I know Montero as well. Didn't he play with Juventus as well? Paolo uh, Montero. He used to play with Juventus, yeah. Who's helping him? Oh, look who's the turn. Ah, Robbie, that was awful. Come on, Indrade. To Marina. Shafiano. I feel like I know his name from somewhere. Well done, Richie Dunn. Out of there now. Oh, I love it, Limo. Get on like Sheeds. Terrible ball again. Don't know what it is, but the first kind of few minutes of the game, we always take ages to get that passing right. And then, then we start playing like Barcelona. It's then we start playing like we're, we're being managed by Stephen Kenny. Only messing. Before someone drags that one out as well. Right, we can't be letting them shoot or get felled around there because they'll score. Well done, Roch. Come on, Stevie Carr. This is your chance to nail down your spot. Stand them up. Well done, Ray Houghton. Keep going for him. That's the ball. Well done, Robbie. Ah, oh, yes! Get in. Frank Stapleton, 1-0. After teeing up Robbie Keane. Oh, it's Kevin Sheedy, sorry. Kevin Sheedy, 1-0. Getting on the end of a Robbie Keane cross. Great bit of play to work the channel. Drag the defender out of position. And cross in a fantastic ball right on the head of Kevin Sheedy. And a magnificent uh, left-sided midfield there pops up. Trumps. He's the only one getting in the box there. See him there with the hand up. And Stapleton arrived in too. But great header by Sheedy. And we are 1-0 up. Now we have to be wary of them. Because they've got some good players. Better than Ghana. Yeah, keeper, keeper, keeper. Well done, Ray Houghton again. Let's just spread the play over here. That's it. Get Sheeds on it. Erwin, get on it there. Just lightly up there. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no, that's not it. Right, come on. We need to, we need to stay with this now. Oh, keeps. Oh, done Stevie Carr. 
Stevie, Stevie Carr. Oh, good idea. Well done, Liam. Liam Brady. Oh, hits the defender. Knocks the defender down. Well up. And you're gone. Frank, you're gone in behind. Cut in for a finesse finish. Oh, he does. By Thierry Henry. What a finish. 2-0 in the quarter-final of the World Cup. Great ball by Robbie Keane. Perfectly weighted. And a perfectly weighted finish to, go to match by Frank Stapleton. Who does not look like that in that picture. No, that wasn't him. Great finish. Stapleton keep leaving the keeper with no chance. That's number 27 is actually Richie Dunn. Great ball by Robbie again. Robbie showing that he doesn't just score goals, he sets them up as well. And there you go. Nestled into the bottom right hand corner. And I wouldn't mind, this is on the second highest difficulty that there is. Oh shit. He probably could have got a penalty there too if he hadn't taken the shot on. I think Roy, no, not Roy. I think it's McGrath. Creases him. No, it's Stephen Carr. They got a corner though. Well up. And away. Oh, I love it. Well done, Robbie. Clever play again. Oh, great ball, Keno. Sheeds on, onto it. No, the defender's too quick. And Montero plays it out from the back. And they're trying to get they're trying to play direct now to try and get themselves back into it, I'd imagine. As quick as they can. But we are resilient. That's one thing about this Irish team. We are resilient. And away. Well done. Let's get the rest of that player on. Unlucky. And all the people that were bad mounting me for dropping Damien Duff. Well, this is the thing about this Ireland team of strength and depth. So it's 2-1 now. Oh, we got McGrath was, was under him. So he couldn't get the jump. It's going to be half time now. Any minute. Oh, too heavy. Okay, half time. And it's 2-1 to the Republic of Ireland. Probably been the better team overall in the first half but um and deserving of the lead, but they they've just got back into it there with a the goal. So we're gonna see how it goes in the second half now, so stay tuned. Right, here we go. Second half. Hope you get some, that's it. Oh go kick. Oh, I love it. Is this Brazil? Oh, he's outside steeps. Oh, they both were narrowly, if you look across.
That's win that second ball. Oh. Okay, I think they're far enough out that they probably won't score from this. Richie Dunn with a, with a yellow. Uh, I'm not sure how many yellows he has. I think it's two yellows equals a suspension. So he missed the next game, maybe. Easy does it. Shea's got this. Oh, Brady. Oh, good, good tackle. Stephen Carr's got this under control. Come on, who's going to show for him, Roy? That's it, Roy. Good lad. Oh, no. Not a good lad. Get that out to the left back and let's bring it up. Brady's ball. He'll get that out there to Sheedy. That's it. That left footed wand. This is good play, Ireland. Let's keep it. Let's keep it up here. Ah, unlucky. I'm making a sub soon. Well done, Richie. Ah. That goes out, we'll make a sub. Okay. So. We're bringing on. Shane Long on for Stapleton. We'll bring. Giles on for Brady, because he's probably tired. Um, and then we'll bring. Even though Duff's not in great form, we'll bring Duff on for Sheedy. Sheedy's done nothing wrong, by the way. I just want to keep him fresh. So hopefully we can catch them now on the on the counter and get a goal. Well up. Oh right. Oh right. Back to your keeper and restart. That's it. So he wants it up there. Right here. Stephen Carr. He's just going to run and run and run. Oh, he has a go. Oh, and Shane Long's offside. Oh, Robbie Keane, sorry. Yeah, he was offside. That's it. Oh, that's a terrible ball. Why did he do that? Could have just given a nice ball in behind and maybe Robbie wouldn't miss from there. Ref. About time. That's it, Perea. Look about 70. He probably is about 70, to be fair. So Denny Irwin on the free kick fight. Shane Long, oh, good sir. That's where you want a left foot player to be hitting. He's offside. All right, let's go, let's go, let's get it on up the pitch. Come on. Do, 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 do. That's it. Well done, play through the lines. That's it. It's John Giles. Well, that was shite. Yep, that was extremely shite. Let's get Big Duffer on it. Well, he's not big, but let's get Duff on it. Okay, well done, Roy. Well won back. And Robbie, that's it. Robbie Keane, yes! 3 1. Get that blade. Cardwell, that's it. Three one. Bit of persistence by Robbie Kane after a pretty poor ball by John Giles. But Robbie gets in and once he's in the box, he makes no mistake. Right in the corner. 
And that, I think, is his fifth goal in this competition, which probably leaves him in pole position for the golden boot with, um, with at least one game to play, provided we don't lose the next game. Because I think that's game set and match now. I don't see us getting... Uh, conceding. Well, I don't see us losing, sorry. Oh, don't speak too soon, Paul. Oh, love it. Come on, Giles. First touch out of your feet. That's it, son. There you are, Damo. Oh, Damien Duff. Unlucky. I think that was Shane Long who missed the chance in the end. Uh oh. Ah, oh, never mind. We got Stephen Carter. This has been a good performance. I don't know how the Uruguayans have beaten Germany though. Yeah. Giles, you let me down every... T oh no. Come on Shea, make yourself a hero. Well done Shea, given. Brilliant save. Well, that's their keeper clearing it for me. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Ah. Probably should have taken an extra touch there. So I was afraid of their keeper creasing me. Okay, final whistle. Republic of Ireland 3, Uruguay 1. And we're into the semi-final of the Classic World Cup now. Goals from Kevin Sheedy, Frank Stapleton and Robbie Keane. Their goals, or their goals, sorry, was uh, Morena. There's a bit of dancing and stuff like that between Robbie and Richie Dunn, which we all know they're good mates. So we're going to check out who we're playing next in the semi-finals before we end this video so i reckon we are playing denmark next oh yeah so the classic denmark we're playing next because they're after beating holland and they beat classic england so they will be tough so stay tuned and see how we get on in the next game against classic denmark look forward to seeing you soon don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends if you're enjoying the series Speak to you soon.